The finale of our good friend Codex is finally upon us. A character that has been divisive to a level that I have never seen before. Going from the darling favorite child to straight up villain. And not even the villain in the way regular Rumble characters do. Like you take an organ here, you borrow a kidney there. No, no, no. This guy is just a, a little creepy man. He's a little creepy old man. And I'm more than happy at this point to help him back on his journey to the Arco Nexus. Hopefully so they kick his ass. Now, I have changed a couple of things with this final episode. I said that last episode was going to be the final episode. And then because I cranked the difficulty up, we got five raids back to back to back to back to back. It was silly. And it wasn't really that fun. I've simplified everything. I've lowered the difficulty to blood and dust. And I've changed it to Randy Random instead. I want to do something strange and weird and milk this for all it is worth for its final episode. Poor choice of words. Talk about that around Codex. He's a man who strikes me as having a lot of fetishes. And you know what I've only done in Rimworld once before, and that was on the day of release? Build an enormous mechanoid army. I've never done that since. Even with 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 the alpha mechs mod, even with all the modded mechanated content, never done it, never interested me. Until now. Codex will journey alone. I think he knows he has lied to these people. He wasn't the one that lied to them, of course. He managed to trick someone else who lied to all these people. He is going alone. He maybe feels a little bit of guilt. Or maybe he knows that they will sniff out his bullshit if he's not careful. So that final battle where we go to the Arconex and fight off the mechanoids, that'll be a final battle for Codex and Codex alone. The rest of them get to live here in this lovely Arco castle. All that stands between us and everything I could ever want to do with the remainder of this playthrough to really stretch base game rewards to its limits a single advanced component that's all i need we don't even have anyone close to us that we can trade with the only place is Quafunhina. and how long would that take to get there because i'm pretty desperate at this point i'm not gonna take 4.3 days bruh uh we'd have to send four eyes which would leave the base slightly less defended now granted randy giveth randy taketh away i have lowered the difficulty that's true but if i send four eyes away on a caravan adventure there's no there's nothing potentially stopping Randy from sending four raids all at once. Well, there is. He's not quite that ag aggressive, but he doesn't have the same restrictions that the other storytellers have. And he could hit us hard and fast. It would take our 4.7 days to get there just to go and potentially buy an advanced component. I think, why not give it... Why, let's give it another season, okay? Let's wait until the end of December. If we haven't got an advanced component by then... I'll send her out on a caravan. I changed my mind. Let's just send her straight away. You're probably wondering what food has she got. Ah, a tasty amount of baby food. Because who needs packaged survival meals? And given that Codex raised two kids and married one of them, I'm sure he knows a thing or two about cooking baby food. <laughs> hate him. I hate him. I hope those Architects knock that turkey hat right of your head and shit in it. Pathetic little disgusting men. I hate him. Several days later, we have arrived. And oh my god, they've got an advanced component for sale. Now, I sent over a load of Plasteel. We still can't afford it. Are you shitting me? Sell some of your food. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Why are they buying that? Difficulty level sells it by minus 10%. We lose 40%. Oh, good God. Well, there we are. There's one advanced component. Enjoy the journey home. She should travel back a lot faster now. What did this... Pondton? I didn't call it Pondton. I was going to call it Unsalvageable Chaos. Four Eyes has just run out of food. Don't worry. I've sent Moyen with a shitload of food to escort her home. It's all okay. I'm not letting this advanced component out of my grasp. I swear to God. If you die, I'll kill you myself. If you starve, I'm going to be... Oh, man, rat. I'm going to be pissed. Go! Combine your forces. Go! Go! Okay, there we are. There you are. There you are. See? Problem solved, right? Everybody gets a lovely snacky. Go home. Now, we've lost the blind seer roll because I imprisoned four eyes yesterday after a psychite binging. So I've got to remember to give myself that back because I'm just leaving mood on the bloody table otherwise, eh? If you botch this construction right now, Flippers, the only thing you're going to be building after this is a goddamn grave. Mark my words. Hello. I, hunt I thought I said squirt then. Jesus Christ. I was going to say not in this colony. You don't. Hello. Squint. Squint the hunter. Are you okay? Seven melee, double passion, sickly. Why not? Why not? Grab a friend. Go get yourself a friend. I'll rescue him. Nope. Get him captured. We're the bad guys now. We're the bad guys. Codex decided that. Oh, flippers. Oh, flippers. Components are back on the menu. I mean, to be fair, the components weren't the problem. It's the it's advanced components. And also the steel. That's, that's also a problem. In fact, you know what I should have used those advanced components on? Oh, fuck. I should have just used them on a ground penetrating scanner. <laughs> oh well, I've done it now. I've done it now. I've made my bed. I will lie in it. Ooh, 
Ooh. Ooh, Siliconium Interstellar, you don't say. This is in a trade cabin. It's a Royal Tribute Collector. Have them shot. Have them shot for raising my hopes and dreams. I need two single advanced components. Okay, I'll take one. I'll take one. I'm not I'm, I'm not fussy. Uh, here, take all this crap. Take this crap for sure. And then give me gold, please. Oh, gosh. This is very expensive. Oh, Lord above. Oh, dear. Uh, what do I need? What do I need? Just like one advanced component for this fucking thing. One advanced component. That's all we need. One. A singular advanced component. You don't need to make that many. Let's cut that back to ten. Here. Who's my crafter? Four eyes? Fabricate for me. Four eyes. Fabricate. Before that bulk goes trade, it goes away. Just in case. Just in case we botch it as well. See it off. See it through. Send it. Squint. Who's squint? I'm in my hospital. I remember. Or a hospital as in prison. Uh, and then flippers. Send it. Full send. Is that? Oh, we got everything. I think we've got everything at this point. And after this point, we're set. We've got resources forever. Because I've got a bloody research bench. So... Codex might as well do something useful with this day. <laughs> Good. Now I am in control. This is my video game now. Egads, golly gosh. Oh, I got too much of a headache to be <laughs> being stupid today. Oh, God. Hello. How are you doing? Um, there are some bugs there with your name on it, my friends. I should have checked if they were going to wait a while and then attack. So where's my bloody weapons gone? Just sat in the stockpile for a laugh, are we? Just don't bother equipping those anymore. You don't need them. Moim, uh, you're on uh, assault rifle duty now, my friend. And Flippers is going to go and shoot those bugs and wake them up. And then that's their problem. Are they already moving in? Can't tell without Rune Hud. Jesus. It's like working in the dark, isn't it? I'm totally blind. Here we go. Here we go. Flippers, send them to hell. Flippers, send them to hell. Flippers, send them to hell. Okay, aim for, aim for maybe like the bigger, bigger, bigger pods. You might actually hit that. Flippers, send them to hell. Nice. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Run. You run. Everyone else to the to the kill box, please. No, I want. It's obviously not a kill box this time. Nice. Two birds, one stone. Look at that. Very happy to see it. In fact, if we go inside, will the insects go for the other group? Oh, they're pissed. They're just going for anything they can find. Okay, some are going around. We could probably kill those couple. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Have 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 some fa have some faith in the bush. The others are beginning their assault. We can clear out a few of these like this. This is all right. Come on, come on, please, Codex. We might need all the help we can get with this one. Cave and bird's eye. Go. Okay, okay, okay. Good work. Good shit. Good shit. That's what we like to see. You come up a little bit closer. Get ready to pounce on them. Get ready to pounce on them. I presume the others are fighting the others. No, they got too distracted killing everything else. Oh, God, now I've distracted them. They've started coming back from me. No, 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 that's not what I signed up for. Oh, Christ. Okay, hold on. Hold on, that's a lot of bouge. That's a lot of bouge. Codex, uh, throw, me a, throw me a burden on that one, please, fella. Thank you. Just slow it down enough to take the edge off, and then Captain Birds, I can follow up with the rest. Fire at Captain Birds, by all means. That shield's there for a reason. There's no point making a shield battle if it's not going to pop, right? Amazing. Amazing. Easy time. What are they doing? They're going up through the very obvious place in the wall that I've tried to bait them through. They're, I, they're just never very clever, are they? It just make, it really makes you think. Hello there. Get him. Yes, my hammer's bigger than yours, Dragonfly, you big bitch. Get him. Okay, I like hit something though. Okay, oh, these oh, fucking remote characters, honestly. Honestly, how do we play without mods? Let's shoot the one that's far away. Not the one that's about to hit my head with a, hit my wife with a club. You people are actually terrible. Captain Murder, I dealt with all of the others. All you people had to do was shoot one of them and you still failed at that. Well, we might as well try and grab them. You any good? Pheasant the Malingara. Well, that's reassuring, isn't it? Mining nine double passion. Hello. Hello. Capable of dumb labor. All right, never mind. Well, no, dumb labor doesn't count as mining. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I've played this game before, I promise. Oh, get him grabbed. Get him grabbed short. What do you like, camel? Cooking 11 double passion. Holy shit. Get him grabbed. Get them grabbed. Moin, come and grab Toxo. Well, is Toxo any good? No, forget about Toxo. Carry on with your life. Oh. <laughs> Some good miner you've got there, huh? Oh, no, this was the chef. Some good chef you're gonna be, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, well. Kablamo. Okay, well, uh, that means we've actually got a warden going now. Thank you, Four Eyes. No. 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 Take that fucking thing and put it right up your asshole. Honestly, smash that one first, because those two are within minimum range and are absolutely no concern. You lot shoot that one. Big brain time. Oh, uh, is that a low shield? Oh, dear. Is that a low shield? It's a low shield. Okay, you need to come to like here. Sorry, that's my bad. I could have checked that first, but uh, I'm I'm terribly ignorant. <laughs> Great work. There you go. Problem solved. Well done, squad. Codex, 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 codex. I don't mean to alarm you here, but you are the savior of this earth. You are the sa you are the you are the only person capable of punching those arcotex. 
Really annoys me how long it takes Captain Murtai to actually move when I tell them to move. Very, very frustrating behavior. Not at all becoming of a great big hammer-wielding lady like Captain Birdseye. Like, done. Easiest mech cluster I've fought in my entire goddamn life. We found absolutely shitloads of steel. So I've invested them wisely into our end game plan for... I was going to call him Sweet Baby Codex, but you know what? I take that back. Horrible, disgusting old man Codex. The prisoners keep fighting, uh, mainly because we've got Mechanoids that landed somewhere. I don't know where they went. There they are with their psychic droner. So I think we put the prisoners in the machine. We're going to make Codex the Mechanoid army he does not deserve. My God, it's going to be so lovely. Okay, I've got their attention. Bring them back here. Bring them back here. Bait them around. Bait them around. Bait them around. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. This will work. Just trust me. Trust me, okay? That's where we can maximize the combat command from Codex and potentially bait them up further, depending on how much damage we do. They're going to move up further. They're going to move up further from there. Oh, you shitbags. Oh, you shitbags. You know what? I bet we could rush in at this point. Uh, you lot come to these lovely trees over here for me. You come to these lovely trees. Birds, I can deal the damage against the lancers, which I'm very scared of. Oh, I was so scary. Oh, oh, not the lancers. Okay, you go there. Codex, come down. Nice. Great work. Great work. Great work. Not mad. Go. Push down. Nobody gives a shit about a pikeman. Nobody's ever once cared about a single pikeman ever. They, are ne they have never killed anyone. <laughs> I know I'm tempting fate. I know I'm tempting fate and I shouldn't. I know I'm tempting fate and I shouldn't, but I think we're going to be okay. I think we've got this covered. Thank you. Thank you. Great work, squad. Good work. Easy. Very straightforward. Just got to bait out the melee characters. You lot go home. As Codex doing, you look like you were shot once or twice there, fella. Shot in the neck with a needle gun. Honestly, don't worry about it. Don't, wor don't worry about it. Where have your clothes gone? Maybe do, maybe do worry about that. Maybe, maybe somewhat worry about that. No more psychic droners. Thank you. A little bit too hard on the deep drilling, I admit. Okay, it's been some time. But look at this. I don't think I've ever, ever made a centipede in this before. And if I have, I sure as hell don't remember it. Go, Codex. Finally, finally, you're going to get some friends. 2.3 days and there's six cycles. Oh. <laughs> I forgot how long it took. Okay, that's my bad. Because where have you gone? I forbid the deep drill. What are you doing now? Hello? Oh, you're getting more plasteel. Uh, fine. Fine, that's all above board. Okay. OBS is an old ratchet piece of shit. Uh, I summon the Apocryton. The cool thing is, I don't know if I could... Oh, never mind. Um, it, it, it resets all of the waves. We've gone back to, to wave one. So it's just an Apocryton and some Scyther and some Militant. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a grizzly bear amongst boars. I've always said that about you, viewer. You're a grizzly bear amongst boars. Should I be concerned that Codex doesn't have any armor and is fighting these bollock naked? Absolutely not. You know what? I hope they rip it off. <laughs> Gotta install a mod right here at the end of Vanilla Remod so that they can rip his cock off. That would make me so happy. Where are you going? What the fuck do you think you're doing, you little mechanoid prick? Are they trying to go in through the back gate? Where are they going? What are they doing? What, what are they doing? Oh, they're going all the way around the long right. Oh, you know what? Fair enough. Live your life. Oh, no. They're going to go smash that. Jesus Christ. However, will we recover? God, that's oh, dangerous. That Apocryton. Watch out for it. My God. Come on, then, you big bitch. Oh, you big bitch. You're in the Thunderdome now. Oh, get him. Oh, you fucking fool. Oh, God. Send him to the Shadow Realm. Absolutely end this man's whole career. How did you sneak past? What the fuck? And now it's just ran off. C uh, Captain Birdseye, do you think you could just chase it down? You could chase it down. I think Captain Birdseye is just going to get lit up. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. This is a horrible plan. Okay, Captain Birdseye is down. Long live Captain Birdseye. What are you lot firing at? Nothing. Oh, you could have fucking fooled me. We'll shoot at anything else then, you dickheads. Oh, God. That's a lot of sight there. On the plus side, these turrets are doing amazing work. Shout out to the turrets. Okay, um, maybe we just go for the Apocryte on. You just go for the actual big, important, scary thing. And then you go raise, rescue Captain Birdseye before Captain Birdseye dies a horrible death. Thank you. Appreciate that. Run, moin. Run, moin. Oh, it's just a bunch, of, a bunch of cracks and bruises and cuts and bruises. Like a lot of them. But you're not at any risk of dying, which is which is pretty pretty handy. Pretty pretty nice of you. Oh, my God. Oh, look at all the damage. Oh, fuck off, flippers. You... I'm going to destroy a large mech gestator. You do that, and I will actually shoot you in the head because I'm not waiting any longer. This series is already overran. You do that, and I'm going to shoot you in the goddamn head. I'm not. I'm not pissing around anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're too close. We're too close to being. Uh, we're too close to being done. No. They're, they're all giving up on me. They're all giving up on me. Push comes to shove. Look at the state of them. This is pathetic. 
Psychite withdrawal. Where are we going to get Psychite from, I wonder? Where on earth will we get Psychite from? Oh my god. I thought we left some Scyther alive then. <laughs> you idiots. Just drink the fucking Psychoid. Psychotolerance massive. Oh, you're fine. It's a good addiction. It's just Codex. Codex was on the front lines, uh, you know, went, went 30, 40 minutes without horfing down a little load of Psychoid, you little weirdo. Come on. Bring it on, you big bitch. It's 1 a.m. I'm bored of building this base now. Bored of building this base. I'm giving him his fancy armor, and then we're going to the Arco Nexus with my pet centipedes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello. I hate Tesseron so much. God, they're awful. What I am going to do is summon the Empire for this one, because this is the last Apocryton we have to fight, so I'm just going to call them in, and they can die for me instead. Go, go, go. Send them, send them, send them. Those Tesserons scare me. Those Tesserons scare me like fuck. Go. Kill it. Kill it dead. Kill it dead. Kill it dead. Kill that damn thing. Kill that damn thing. Keep shooting. You go for the Tesseron. You go for the Tesseron. Nice. 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 Go for the Tesseron. Get them, get them out of the fight. Get them out of the fight. Oh, God. I hate them. Oh, nice. No, there's one down. Oh, God. They're back up. Who could have, who could have predicted such a thing might happen? What a cruel fate. Okay. Turn around. Hit that one. Captain Birdseye's down. Long live Captain Birdseye. How are we looking? Uh, just keep going for that. Keep going for the Apocryton, I suppose. Worst case scenario, we've also got that orbital bombardment. Jesus Christ almighty. Uh, right, pull back. You just have to fall back at this point. Oh my god. I hate those fucking Tesseron. God, they suck. Keep firing little turrets. Keep firing little turrets. Luckily, it's raining. Hey, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull back. There you go, there you go, there you go. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Uh, Codex, come forward a little bit. Look at this. Look at this. It's fine. We're good. We're good. How's Captain Birdseye? Captain Birdseye. Captain Birdseye's good too. And the Apocryton's almost dead. A couple more big hefty turret shots and we're basically done here. Flippers, this is on you, pal. Hey, there you go. Quickly tidy them up, please, because those Tesserons absolutely suck. I hate them. I've never hated a mechanoid more. Die. Boil and die. Oh god, we're too far away. Oh, they're going for my friendly max. Our people are on fire again. We might just die to these Tesseron at the right. Things are going. Oh, Jesus Christ. There. There. We lost a constructor, but you know what? That's fine. It's a, it was a slight, slight cost. Oh, my God. And a solar flare just kicked in and took out my turrets. Wow. -y. Oh, great work. There you go. So all we need now is the chip from the War Queen. And we're done, I think. Oh, extreme break risk. Oh, just fuck off at this point. Oh, my God. Forget it. Why are you putting the fires out of here, you little fucking idiots? God, I'm, I'm sick of these people. Honestly, uh, ever since that Codex incident a few episodes ago, I've lost any love for this series. Uh, it's just deflated me like a dirty balloon. Big, filthy, horrible, disgusting, old man-filled balloon. <sighs> just go home. Just go home at this point. Please go home. The War Queen's coming. I mean, the War Queen is supposed to be. Hang on. There you go. There you go. Right. Co sorry. Carry on. Oh, the, the, the trader's just turned up. Bang on. Who is it? C uh, Codex has a sister called Watson, apparently. There you go. He has a sister called Watson. I hate the random generation. Let me guess. She's probably like 12. Oh, she's 64. That's actually like a, a decent age for a sister. She's not the right race, but it's the future. So maybe you can just like change that. As problematic as that may be in your opinion. Uh, it's the future. These things happen. Adopted. Adopted. That makes, <laughs> that makes way more sense in hindsight. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Codex's adopted family anymore. I don't give a fuck. The only thing I want to adopt to be adopted by Codex is the inside of a mahogany box. Oh, Captain Birdseye. You know what I'm about to ask you, friggin' troglodyte. Where is your hammer? Oh, that is probably quite offensive because she is a Neanderthal. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant it in the general sense that you're a goddamn idiot and I can't stand the sight of you. I just don't know where your hammer's gone. If I don't know where your hammer's gone, I can't... That, I, I, that's it. You're useless to me. You were nothing without your hammer. If you were nothing without your hammer, then you don't deserve it. Or, uh, or something like that. That's what he says, right? Sir Anthony Hopkins, when he was in that children's comic book movie. <laughs> and because we've got a trade caravan here, of course, the War Queen stood at the edge of the map giggling. Giggling, just waiting for them to leave so she can drop on in. Here you go. Here's your hammer back. Here's your hammer back. No, good as new. Just how you left it. There it is. There's your Zeus hammer. Ordering your Zeus hammer from Wish again. <laughs> just a plasteel mallet. And there you go. Bang on. Right on cue. That's it. Uh, conspiracy confirmed. Don't know if it's really a conspiracy or, you know, like intended game mechanics. Hello. How you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, these turrets are rebuilt. Oh, good job. I mean, you didn't fix the sandbags, though, did you? These are all refilled. Nope. Absolutely not. 
fucking lazy mechanoids, I'm telling you. Come on, get on with it. I want to go to bed. It's like 2 a.m. I've got another series to work on pretty much immediately after this one's over. So if you could speed things up, please. Oh, shit. Horrible, horrible urchins. Get out of my way. Go, get them. You can fuck them up, Captain Bird's Eye. A bunch of tiny little horrible urchin fellas. Oh, God, there's a lot of them coming in, though, huh? How can they see you there? What the fuck is that nonsense? First, the enemies aren't supposed to stand still on sandbags, so they're breaking the rules right there. And they're shooting at them from around a corner. Don't make any goddamn sense. Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. Stand your ground, stand your ground, stand your ground. That's it, that's it, that's it. Great work, great work, great work. Big and strong, big and strong and powerful. Go for the War Queen. Where's your armor gone? Well, I, I can't aim at the War Queen. This, I think that is the War Queen. Where's your armor gone? Were you shot in the back by one of our turrets? Oh, dear. Had <laughs> your liver crushed. Well, that's okay. That's okay, you'll be fine. That is slightly outside of the minimum rate. I should bring those sandbags back to, like, here, and then that problem wouldn't repeat itself, but that's okay. That's on me. That's my fault. And if Four Eyes dies, Four Eyes died for the cause. Oh, God, Bird's Eye is down again. Bird's Eye, you shithead. Okay, okay, Codex, keep those bloody robots away. We need those. We need those to rebuild. Well, Queen defeated. There you are. Easy squeezy. Very good work. And then someone might want to go pick up, um, poor sweet Captain Bird's Eye, whatever's left of Captain Bird's Eye at this point. Oh, 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 imps. Was that it? Okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry, Captain Birdseye. You can't rest quite yet. Well, I mean, you, it looks as if you don't really have much of a choice. Bill complete. Mech Lord suits. Codex, get your suit on. You're almost ready to face the Arcotex, my friend. Look at you. The perfect little mechanita man. And now I come to the realization about why I never use uh, offensive mechanoids in RimWorld. Because I've got to sit here for another 50 years waiting for two centipedes. So you know what? No, oh, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, I'm okay. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I'm not waiting that long. I cannot be bothered. I cannot be bothered to sit here and watch the base game send incident after incident at me so I can make two frigging centipedes. There's no value in that. I eat pieces of shit like centipedes for breakfast. Why the hell would I want two centipedes when I've killed a thousand of them so far? It's just there's no value in it. There's no value in that in that for me personally. So instead of me sitting here probably for the next two, three hours waiting for those to gestate. I'm going to take that two to three hours and I'm going to make an animation for the end of the series instead. And I'm going to fuck him off to the Arco Nexus. Any complaints, you can take it up with my ass. I'm going to give it an honest go, but I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm ready to move on. I'm tired and I'm ready to move on. And I've realized after playing uh, base game room world that what I enjoy about this game is the absurdity and the, uh, you know, the strange challenges and things that you can set for yourself, of course. The themed playthroughs where you can get immersed. But there's no immersion in this. I do not want to get immersed in Codex. Because only other one, or one other person has been immersed in Codex, and that's his own daughter. <laughs> I can make these jokes because I had to witness these horrors, okay? I don't trust any of you in the comments section. I know what your search history is like, you little weirdos. And over the next 4.7 days, the shitbag Codex and his drug-addled, psychite-addicted, brainwashed friends, and I use the word friends in the largest of quotes I could possibly use, head to the Arco Nexus. Through river and river... Well, they've stopped in that river, they didn't, haven't got quite through it yet. Ah, oh, through river and river, and a third river, and then maybe another river for a treat. Through the terrifying green monkey swamp, and down this imperial-controlled highway that is probably... Filled with potholes, my god. Until they come across it. The Arco Nexus. Ooh, okay. Oh god. Um, I remember there being a couple of mechanoids, but how many mechanoids is that? Two militars. Two tesserons. Oh, two tesserons I don't like. What is that? A scorcher? A pikeman? Anything more scary, or is or is that what we've got? That's okay, that's that's very manageable. It's very manageable. No cover, no turrets, no distractions, no friends. But that is very, very manageable. Let's get you all into some cover and let's pray. Let's pray. This is where Codex would allow these people to die for him. His friendly little mechanoid friends who will take the brunt of the force and his... Whoopsie. Seems like we've woken them up. Ah, oh, that's fine. Come on, come on, please, Codex. Codex would be happy for you to die for him at this point. Codex would be happy for you to die for him. Because he is here. He is at his victory march. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. If we die here, though, that would be 
actually very, very funny. Oh, they can fight. Well, let's get them to descend on that goddamn Tesseron. Go kill that, or, or whatever they're fighting right now. Oh, Captain Birdseye. This could be the final battle of Captain Birdseye. I don't think there's much coming back from this. Go, 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 send them in, send them in, send them in. Oh, we had combat mechanoids all along. I was just too ignorant to realize what we had until it was too late. That's, that's true of many things, I think, in life. Your family, your friends, unless you're Codex, at which point you, wouldn't have, you shouldn't have one of those, and you definitely don't have the other one. And I'll let you decide which is which. Go. Agrahand 1. Agrahand 1, you have given your life for the cause. I appreciate that, Agrahand 1. Push forward. If these animatories catch fire and start screaming, is it going to cause a lot of mental anguish? Quite possibly, yes. Punch that one. Punch that one. Right, Captain Birds, I might survive. Lift the one. Goodbye, Lift the one. You, you're a sweet, you're a sweet boy. It's raining. A raining. Terrible day for rain. Oh, there's a pikeman over there. We should probably take that one out. Area is now safe. We have it. The Arco Nexus. <laughs> After 881 days. 14 years of non-stop rimming. <laughs> Three total bases. One good one and two relatively shit ones. And one good good story at the beginning and then it all kind of fell apart again as it tends to in Rimworld, especially during the end of that second base, but we won't talk about that. Here we are. The Arco Nexus. But this has been a personal journey of one man and one man only, and that man is Codex. Codex himself. Codex the madman. Codex the monster, who I think was the bad guy all along, who deceived all of us. Myself included. I was batting for Team Codex until I saw Saw his true behavior. Send your, your servants away, Codex. Send them. Shoo them off. Go, my remaining colonists. Seek your fortune with the Empire. They will take you. You'll build a good life there. You have skills you can offer them. You've proven yourself as, as an ally of Codex. And Codex is, of course, a member of the Empire. Now there is just one. One man and a whole bunch of rice. Invoke the power, dear sweet Codex. Invoke the power. My god. <laughs> This series is in memory of the Raging Chef, Dennis Zog, Sadness, Goatham, and Crafty. Goodbye, those five people. Especially you, Dennis Zog. You deserve far better than you got. Thank you all for joining me here in Vanilla Roomworld. Something I might do maybe once a year or once... Uh, when I think it's been too long. Certainly won't be more than once a year. Let's put it that way. Uh, I, I think it's a fantastic palate cleanser. I think it really does highlight... Uh, and again, for me, this has been a fantastic research opportunity to reassess what I'm putting into mod packs. There were so many things that I, I thought I would miss and didn't. But it really has highlighted to me the things that I actually... Don't think I can live without at this point. The things that really, truly are essential. The things that I was pressing from muscle memory. Control F to search for things on the map. The home button to allow all on the map. The the build management as well. And, and my own play style has adapted to fit these mods. But I think it's in a way that is only beneficial. Things like dropping uh, stuff on the floor when you've completed it at a workbench. So someone else can haul it away. Instead of running back and forth all the time. Minor things like that. You, you don't really notice how much of a difference it, it, it makes until it's all stripped away and left bare, which is a truly horrible metaphor to use for this series. I've also realized why I only do the Arco Nexus, or why I've only done it once before. The truth is, is it's it's far too long an ending for a playthrough. I really had to speed up and, and chop a lot of stuff up, and speed up a lot of a lot of kind of stats and variables behind the scenes as well, just so that we could get to that end goal. I didn't want to just be like, okay, I'm bored now, that's it, let's move on. I wanted to wanted to get to that end, so. Again, it doesn't work in a regular playthrough, I don't think. But that was good. Honestly, far better than I expected. And it was very, very minimal, the mods that were included, as you saw. Facial animation, camera plus uh, the the font mod, and then a bunch of optimization stuff. And that was basically... Although the allow tool did slip in while I was working on the next mod pack. 
On the subject of the next mod pack, then, I have I, I've, I have it completed. I've had it completed for a few days now. Um, I've been putting the kind of final touches on it, setting up the scenario and the world and stuff like that. Um, so that's basically ready to go now. Uh, that will be available very soon. I'm probably going to take a day off, maybe two. We'll see how it goes. I have some stuff that I've got to deal with in real life as well. Um, but other than that, it's going to be full steam ahead for a little while. Second channel series coming back very soon. It's an old favorite with a new twist on things. You'll see it when it happens. Thank you in the meantime, of course, the executive producer patrons for allowing this series, for better or worse, to exist in the first place. Thank you to Squinty Chimera, Mr. Moma, Logan Bissett, Crunchy Medic, Vanessa Greaves, We Are Baby, Fexen, Frozen Solid, Elliot Pup, Chillabella, Solothal, Tagnum Elite, Mon Mon Rage, The Aaron W Zero, Mostly Harmless, Slighter, Roan, Scrungus, Fizzlebuns, 91 Gearhead, Commissar, JK, Deadwoods, Biv, Plants, Our Friends, and Lost Turtle as well. For their support, the executive producer is our Patreon. Trust me when I say the next series is something I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. It's, it's a theme that I've explored before, but was not explored properly. It was a loosely themed thing tacked onto something else that overshadowed the whole series. You'll know it when you see it. But because of recent mod releases and recent mod optimizations and rewrites from some very talented developers and some uh, fantastic work behind the scenes from other modders. Again, I'm keeping things as vague as possible. We've got a really nice thing. We've got a really nice thing going here and I hope you enjoy it. And it's going to be a kind of, what I will say is it's kind of a total conversion similar to the RPG pack. But that's all I will say on the subject for now. Thank you as well to Shackleberry, Tia, Skunkalo, William, Steinbrink, Adamski, XD, Slimejack, Jason, Ganser, Jackson, Namajask. I hope I've said that right. Europala84, Jahihi, Roman Von Klein, Ethel Red the Undeady, Simply Nikki24, and Armor. Thank you. See you all tomorrow. Ha, 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 ha.